This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is discussing a unit plan and lesson planner for ecosystems and the environments, which is unit two of the environmental science course which I run. And this can be modified, adjusted, and shortened or lengthened in any part of this unit plan. It really is just a way to organize the different topics, the different labs, the different subjects that I'm going to talk about, teach, and do activities and labs on throughout this whole unit. So it's a very broad, very open, very kind of scaffolding method of planning, which I enjoy because once I have this unit plan in place, I can then go in more detail and know that I need to find a way to seamlessly transition between each part of the unit plan to get to the end to cover everything that I want to cover prior to any assessment, be it a regular authentic test or a quiz or a essay, project, poster project, presentation, you name it, any assessment you can think of, both formative and summative, but you are covering everything you want to cover using this unit plan as your guide. Now again, the length of each unit can be whatever you want based on how much you're teaching and what other units you're gonna cover in the whole course throughout the academic year. For example, we have 10 separate parts to this unit plan. The first part is the intro and terms, which is very important to get down the terminology and have the students understand what the words mean, where they come from, how they relate, because that will form the foundation for all the following or future lessons in this unit along the ecosystems and the environment. Then we go into the basic food chain, trophic levels, energy levels, limiting factors and energy pyramids and the 10% rule and the various food webs, food chains and discussing all those different species such as autotrophs, heterotrophs, consumers, producers and up the pyramid to the apex predator. Then we go into biodiversity, richness and index of Simpsons index, the biodiversity hotspots of what it is, the net and gross productivity of different biomes and hotspots and environments, and link that back to part two, which is the food webs and food chains and the energy flow. Then we go into the biogeochemical cycles, so looking at the water cycle, carbon, sulfur, phosphorus, and nitrogen cycle, and looking at how all of these interact and interlink to create the complex ecosystems and biomes and environments we see through various biodiversity hotspots and various biomes and various food webs and food chains. So again, linking everything together from previous lessons and building for the future lessons. Then we're looking at symbiotic relationships, looking at the different types and finishing up with prayer to pray, case studies and lab. Then number six, looking at succession in terms of primary and secondary, your riparian zones, looking at the tolerance of an environment, the stress levels, and looking at disturbances, both natural and man-made or anthropogenic. Then number seven, again, linking very nicely into disturbances, looking at deforestation, afforestation, and civiculture, which is the method of replanting and scientifically organizing the replanting or afforestation methods. Then looking at hunting, both legal, illegal, looking at probably a bear hunt or the deer hunt or other kinds of hunting, perhaps the ivory trade in other parts of the world. Then looking at the invasive versus native or endemic species, looking at certain case studies with certain species of animals like the Burmese python in the Everglades in Florida, which has become a problem for that ecosystem and looking at why and how these issues arise. Then we come to the final part of the unit, which is number 10, which is endangered species. And here, the students are going to research and learn about certain species that are under threat based on habitat or human impact and looking at the laws and ethics and policies trying to protect these animals, looking at protective areas, both terrestrial and aquatic, and it is a nice cumulative subject to finish this unit with. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you want more content and videos 
on earth science, please check out my channel.